Hello everybody! So, feeling much better just now. Um, I'm tending to do videos later on in the night so that you know I can give you a kind of update of this and this and this and this and this happened. So, um, it's still in my own room which is really nice and with my lovely window which has been open since last night and it's amazing. Oh. Um, the breeze that comes through it isn't as good as the other side of the building and there is, I don't know if I can show you, there is a big kind of building bit there and I think that that shelters this room a wee bit um, or maybe it's just not as windy but um, yeah, it's good, it's good to have air so I think that's one of the reasons I'm feeling so much better so up and breakfast and showered and all is good and um, not as much diarrhoea, no wait a minute, more diarrhoea but not as often. Hmm. So that is good. And unfortunately, so I've been feeling queasy for days. And unfortunately today was the day that my lunch came back up. Um, and then I'm I'm off the, the thing. So my arm is all free. And I'm on to pill antibiotics. And I thought it was amoxicillin, but it's not. It's co-amoxilav maybe. Um, so I've had one of them so far and that was after lunch uh, but one of the nurses gave me a yoghurt to then take. Um, I had about an hour afterwards just to kind of make sure everything had settled and it wouldn't come back up. So I had a little bit of dinner. I didn't finish dinner and I didn't push it to try and eat more than what I felt comfortable. I just had a very small amount of dinner because I thought better a small amount of dinner than a larger amount of dinner that reappears. <laughs> so um, it was lovely though, I had fish with parsley sauce, it was really nice. So that was that. And hopefully I get home tomorrow. Mm. It'd be so good to get home and see the piggies and just get back to my own bed and everything. Although the bed's in the hospital, I'm sorry. I'm making funny faces because I'm soaking on a sweetie. Um, it's a rhubarb and custard sweetie. As I find that it's nicer, I get a kind of lovely taste in my mouth. So by eating the sweetie, it gets rid of that. But yes, hospital beds are really cool because they go that up and down thing and then you can kind of like move up the bit where your feet are to put your knees up and that's really nice. So um, yes, I will miss the hospital bed. Uh, but yes, it will be nice to be home. And my surgeon was in this morning and said that the pain that I was having in my back, ooh, haunt room, door just opened, uh, the pain that I was having in my back could have been my kidneys um, that the infection might have spread around and it just might not have showed on the um, scans. So hopefully that's cleared up. I'm feeling a wee bit better just now. I'm still kind of hot. A wee bit kind of... I think I'm hot because my body's working to try and get rid of the infection that's doing stuff. So it's kind of like pumping away doing stuff and it's like expel the air and so the rest of me is like... <gasps> but my temperature isn't actually up. It's just me that feels hot and sticky. Mostly my head. <laughs> um, I'm not as sweaty as what I was in the last room. My back was soaked in the last room. It was disgusting. Um, so yeah, just feeling kind of cosy to touch. But yeah, um, so all is good and I'll let you know if I get home tomorrow. Hello everybody! I'm on my way home! Yay! Feeling much better today. I haven't been sick. Um, I've only had one bit of diarrhoea, which was really good, and now um, my temperature's down a bit. It's quite cosy in the car. I've got my balloon with me to save it blowing out the windows. But yes, very excited to be going home, and I've got antibiotics to take with me. So I'll give you an update when we get home. Hello everybody, this is me home, and very exciting news. What a welcome home present. We have a baby guinea pig. So I am going to try and film them. It's a wee bit dark for you to see them just now. 
so I'm going to try and film them the other way round and then uh, you can see our baby pig. Mm. Hiding in their houses just now. There we go, the one in the blue house is Scamp and the one in the pink house is Scruff and Scruff is the mummy. So there's little Scamp, he's just wandering around. I thought that mummy and baby might go into the bigger house. So this is mummy. I don't know if we'll see wee baby, I think she might be licking the baby. And I don't know if the baby is male or female yet. We've got a friend coming to um, to let us know. Hey, Scamp, are you coming out? Are you? Oh, Scruff has been very protective over her baby, naturally. So there's Scruff. That's Mummy, who's just gone into the other house. Oh, dear. And Scamp's gone into the house with the baby. And there's bound to be a fight now. She'll not be impressed that she's in there. She's not really too sure what to do about the baby at all. Off they go. And in here, I kneel down. This is baby pig. Baby pig is not actually pink, but obviously in the pink house. So the two guinea pigs I've got at the moment look quite scruffy. You can see they've got little bits of tufts that stick up all over the place. And they're Abyssinian. There we go. You can see her. She's got scruffy bits everywhere. But the baby looks quite short-haired, but it has got, I don't know, I don't know if any direction I move, if you'll see it any better. It's got a little, what they call a splat head, so a crest right on the top of its head. Oh, she's moving around. Considering this baby's probably really a, a few hours old, not, not even a full day yet, I wouldn't think. So she's maybe, I don't know, 10 hours old maybe? Um, they move around quite a thing. I haven't, I'll get a video later of her walking so you can see. This is Mummy. Mummy Pig. Yeah, hello. Yeah. So she's gone for her water ball. There we go. Oh. Did I miss your baby coming out of the house? Baby is behind the house now, so if I move you'll get to see. Oh, here's Baby Pig. There we go. I moves around quite the thing. See the wee crest on her head. Baby and Mummy Pig. So Mummy has, uh, Baby has been following Mummy about the place. There she is. Hopefully she, so we can keep her. There we go, into the blue house. So that is what I came home to. Yay! And this is, this is Scamp, who's been a wee bit neglected and a bit bullied because she doesn't know... Oof. She doesn't really know what's going on. They're all in the house now. <laughs> there we go. That's a little scamp. That's it. Hello. 